Today's Madden 17 video is going to help you guys make user catches like this with Des Bryant and make it a normal for your offensive scheme. What's up Madden 17 fans? My name is Cody and I want to welcome you to today's video. Today's video is going to help you a lot with your offensive game. What we're going to do is we're going to show you uh, basically the foundation, one of my favorite plays to use in Madden NFL 17. And the reason we're going to show this to you is because I want to kind of give you a glimpse of what next season's ebooks are going to look like. So uh, we're using the gun bunch here and I want to break down the Z spot. Now there's several wa wa ways to run this play, but what we're going to do is pretty simple. We're going to place, go max protection. We're going to place Butler here on a deep streak or a deep fade. We're going to place Cole Beasley on a slant. And then we're just going to motion him out like so. And we're just going to run the play. Now the first read on the play is actually Cole Beasley. As you can see here, He's gonna, you're probably going to go to Cole Beasley several times over the course of a game. And the reason is because everybody is running this nickel blitz two defense, and this is going to really open up some of the underneath things. Obviously, you want to look to the quick streak here. And the reason you want to look to that is especially if they're running nickel blitz two, which you can do, and we'll show you here because uh, I have two controllers. So let's show you real quick. This is kind of nickel blitz two here. And what we're going to do is we're going to set it up here. So we're just going to blitz this guy off. And then these guys are going to go into, into vertical hooks here. And this is kind of what it would look like. And what you're banking on here is that this linebacker is going to be their user defender more than likely. And he's probably going to be standing somewhere in this area of the field. And the reason I set all this up here is because what we can do, is, especially against cover two defense, is if you hold uh, L1 at the snap, and look at a quick high pass right there. If you got Bryce Butler or someone with a good spectacular catch rating, uh, all of a sudden that becomes a very viable option for you as a quick throw to really negate your opponent from running uh, nickel blitz too, especially running the heavy blitz setup uh, that, that people are accustomed to running. And then again, you have this, this slant route, but the bread and butter route and the main reason you wanna be running this play and the reason we pick Z spot specifically is because the route to Des Bryant, all you're gonna to wanna to do here is you're gonna to wanna to inside pass lead it right as he cuts to the middle, you wanna click on by hitting circle and then you wanna just catch the ball with Des Bryant with an aggressive catch. I like the aggressive catch. I think it's the most effective way to uh, just dominate your opponent this year. You want to have someone like a Des Bryant, a big bodied receiver with high spectacular catch rating. That route will beat every coverage in the game because it is a user catch. So what I would ask you to do guys in response to this video is run this play, practice this play, let me know, master this play. You want to run this multiple times. In my opinion, uh, you want to run this play about 10 times per game at least. And it's that powerful of a play. You guys probably watched the Madden Challenge. You saw Skimbo. You've seen me use this all year. And be stay tuned to the channel because we're going to post a video later on this week where I'm literally going to go in a game and I'm going to just go through every type of route combination and possible way to run this play. So be sure that if you're not subscribed, you go ahead and subscribe because that way you're going to be notified when that video comes out. And I guarantee you watching that for about 10 to 15 minutes is going to really help you apply this play to your Madden 17 game. All right, guys, so in recap, let's just go over the setup one more time. You want to max protect by hitting L1 and then up on the D-pad. So that means that your tight end and your running back are gonna block. You then wanna place Bryce Butler on a fade. You wanna place Cole Beasley on a slant and you wanna motion him outside and snap right as he starts to kind of set up. And that's gonna allow uh, for some nice passing lanes. And right there, we, we kind of blew it there. We threw it a little bit too early on that route to Des Bryant. Also, real quick, one little pro tip for this is if you get in trouble and you have nobody to throw it to, I highly recommend when Des uh, Bryant gets open, throw a high pass lead and then just click on. And the worst thing that's gonna be happening is it's gonna be an incomplete pass, okay? So anyways, real quick, just wanted to kind of remind you guys to go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we're gonna have a lot of Madden content coming out soon. And I'm just really, really excited to be back in the groove. I'm going to be releasing my entire shotgun bunch offense. So if you guys are struggling on the offensive side, especially against Nickel Blitz 2, I've got a lot of content. I've been spending a lot of time in the lab perfecting this offense in combination with another formation from the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook.
All right, guys, that wraps it up for today's video. Do me a favor, if you have any questions or if you just enjoyed the video, leave me a comment and let me know uh, what are the areas in Madden 17 that you struggle with the most. Thank you so much for your time and watching this video and be sure to leave a comment. And if you have not already, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get updated with more Madden 17.